Okay, so check this out. Got a package in the mail. And this is coming from Second Hour. Actually, it's coming from Pete Ross. This this video wouldn't even be like a thing if it wasn't for Pete Ross. And if you don't know what it is, I'm leaving a link to his uh, channel in the description, man. So check him out. Uh, also, I have some secondary channels listed below uh, that will give you more background on the guy that brings you Second Hour Watches, which is Peter. So, uh, right after the intro let's jump into this and let's see what's in here all right family welcome to the lifestyle man it's your host trap vision 3d uh again i want you guys to check out p ross over there at ross wristwatch love uh me and him had a conversation last week actually yeah about a week and a half ago um just asked me a few questions about watches and stuff like that you guys seen it i kind of added a few new pieces of course you know what i'm saying got the boss stock on today watch today um but we just had a, a conversation on ig and uh, we talking about this watch company which is a micro brand and i did some research on it man and it made me very interested in it so Without further ado, let's start. I haven't even unboxed it yet. So this is going to be an unboxing as well as you guys will get my first take on the watch. So you guys are seeing it with me. Okay, so. First and foremost, this is the card that comes in the box. It's wrapped pretty good. Get this out of the way. Oh, wow. Now, I'm a huge component of the first visuals I see of how watches sent to you. And this is the case it comes in. Pretty dope. Okay, family, so we got the Giant Stride. Now, new to the channel, man, I normally rock a 47 to 52 millimeter piece, man. Something a lot bigger than this. And this thing is coming in at 42 millimeters, right? And the thickness, man, look at that right there. So that, at this profile right here, you're about like 13.2. Uh, but the, the takeaway for me on this watch so far... Outside of this green dial, and that green dial just drew me in. You know, by me having been a military background, I loved it. Uh, I'm also a huge component of the loom. I love the loom on here, man. You see the loom on this thing right here? Uh, I have seen loom that was a lot brighter than this, but this was impressive. And then you got, like, dual crowns on it, right? Location. Then the uh, company's name right here. And then there was the case back. Yeah, giant stride. He's jumping into that water, man. And then on the back, you see, you know, the sapphire crystal is giving you some other uh, schematics of the watch. As you can see, it has the uh, the name of it, automatic. This thing is powered by the Salida 200. Very impressive watch. Uh, I like this part right here. Just unscrew that. Look at that. Come on, man. Now, normally, normally, man, when I, you know what I'm saying, with the bezel, I turn, I like to hear the click. This one actually has sort of like, you know, it's, you can feel the mechanics of it. It's smooth, though. It's real smooth. You turn that back down, and then you just apply some pressure. My bad. <laughs> apply pressure, and then you turn it back. It doesn't move the, the ring. And of course, it's mechanical, automatic. And give it a shake or just turn it. And uh, you're good to go. Comes in this beautiful case that you can actually put there. Or you can have another watch there. Comes with the uh, screwdriver. And oh, it was it was uh what was it, 1200 HV uh, coating on this thing, which is a process they use to like anti scratch, 
right? Now, I think there's pros and cons about that, and I will talk about that in an upcoming video because I'm going to take this thing for a test drive, uh, check it out for a little bit, look up some more stuff, man. But uh, overall, I think this watch is pretty dope, man. Extra straps and stuff, man. Can't beat it. So let's get the final verdict, man, and we going to get up out of here. So I want to dive into this watch a little more. Um, and do a follow-up video for you guys, man. Uh, what I think overall. I'm going to dive into the specs a little bit more. And I'm going to actually dive into this coating and how they get it done. Uh, because I'm not familiar with that coating. Uh, which I just left on the screen for you. But I am impressed with the overall balance of the watch. Now, it's not set for my wrist. I mean, it's, I would have to take out a few more links, man. But it was set to my man Pete Ross's wrist. So I'm not going to fool with that. But I'll tell you this. Off top, got a hairy wrist, right? This thing feels great on the wrist. As you can see, it's a it just compliments, man. And just think, I like, could wear this thing, like dress up, dress down. That's me, you know what I'm saying? I throw a suit on with this, so. but to each his own. You wear how you want to wear it, but I'm telling you, just take a look at it. This thing is beautiful, man, I like it. I love the, like, the diamond tips on it, I love the design. Aesthetics, top notch. Uh, I honestly feel like based off what they're asking for it, uh, I've seen some other watches that's Swiss made and stuff like that. Um, I think it's a pretty decent price. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to add something, something different, something new, micro brand wise, I'm with it, man. So never met Peter, never talked to him. I've seen an interview, which I'm leaving that in the description to the interview he had. So you could put a face to the brand. Uh, I think it's pretty dope. Uh, what I buy one of these uh, I'm actually going to add one to my collection that is my goal for 2022 you do what you want but I'm I'm sold I, I love the way this watch looks and how it feels um, I said the style to the class it's a little different than what I've seen before but again it's a different company so my final verdict on this watch man I think it's worth uh, taking a look at so please go ahead Drop down below, man. Leave your comments. Tell me what you think of the watch. If you think it's worth it, man. Uh, and look at the interview. Uh, and also check out P. Ross's channel. He's down in the description as well. So until the next Lightning Strike family, man, y'all be blessed.